Opening balances. Opening balances are just more transactions. You can enter them directly into each account, but the best way is to enter them in the All Transactions view. Let's enter a new one. Type in the date a set of accounts started on. Type in the amount, let's look at the bank, £500. Type in the account, in this case it's the bank account. We're in the To Account column because the money has gone to the bank, it's got a positive balance. Note that the transaction turns red when we go to another one. This is because it's not been finished, we've not told it where the other account is. But we'll leave that for a second. Press Enter because it will copy the same date for you, no need to type it again. 250. This is for our credit card. Credit card, of course, is actually overdrawn. We always owe money on credit cards. So in this case, it will be put into the From account. Credit card. Finally, let's enter our ISA account. 3000. It's positive. Note we only have to type part of the name in for the lookup list in order to put it there. Now, Let's go and have a look at the effect on our accounts. Find your account. Here's our bank. There you can see our running balance. It's been affected by our opening balance here. You can see it's sorted on the date order. Sort. Click on any column heading to resort up, down, or your original order. Let's have a look at our credit card. Yep, the same thing. Now, when you look at these transactions, it's not obvious what that was for. This is where the other account comes in, your opening balance. But we won't bother entering each individual one over here. Let's go back to our All Transactions view and fill in the missing account. That's it. You're all done.